I think ambition means, you know, it's quite a, a deep meaning for me. Uh, it means that you're trying to challenge yourself to achieve something, something that is a lot bigger than, than you. So, I mean, for me, you know, as an eye doctor, my skills were trained to solve eye problems. And, um, and so when, I, when, I, when, when someone asks me questions like, what do you think about ambition? It's more about, you know, stepping out that comfort zone you know, trying to achieve something bigger than myself. So are you ambitious? I would say so. <laughs> I would say so, yes. Why do you think you're that way? Um, I think it all started with, you know, going, it started with traveling, to be honest. Um, I traveled a lot when I was a lot younger, um, and I liked third world countries. So places like Kenya, you know, Nepal, in Africa, um, and uh, India. So I've been to a lot of different places where I like just I just like to you know mix with the uh, the local people to find out what's going on with the local life and stuff and uh, and I came across a lot of issues you know social issues poverty um, things that can you know change someone's cause entirely just because of their social circumstances and um, that sort of gave me a drive to do medicine and to you know to create a um, to create you know a solution that would help solve issues not probably not the whole poverty issues but even if you could solve a problem within you know a certain spectrum that would mean a lot to me so in my sort of you know ambition in that sense is is that i was trying to reduce the prevalence of um, preventable blindness um, people do go blind in those places where they've got no access to conventional equipment medicine you know or even standard doctors so um, you know, the, um, this, this whole challenge sort of uh, has been stuck with me throughout my teenage years. And as I go through my training, um, to train as a doctor, that's when I thought, you know, is there anything else that I can do to, um, to help with those issues? And that's when I started stepping out of my comfort zone. Instead of just seeing patients, you know, 10 patients, 20 patients, you know, in the morning, I mean, you can count that by meds, you know, you're probably going to see about 30,000 patients in your entire lifetime and, and you're only going to make a difference to that 30,000 people um, but I, I think I wanted to do something more I was thinking about a global scale is there something that I could introduce a technology an idea you know or something else that could sort of create a domino effect across the whole world and can you tell us a bit about how you're doing that so um, to achieve the goal it started back in 2014 uh, with a topic, a research idea saying that can we create a set of equipment or just one equipment to look at the back of the eye and the reason why I choose to look at the back of the eye is because it's an organ that's quite you know secretive, it's all behind the pupil you can't just see the back of the eye, the retinal by you know using a naked eye, you do need expensive equipment the conventional equipment like funders cameras cost about $25,000 to $50,000 and so it's really, you know, sort of, it's not really affordable at all in places say like in Kenya, you know, Nepal, India. Um, a lot of those patients living out in the rural areas, they would not have access to proper eye care. So that became a sort of a challenge to myself. I would say, right, would I challenge myself to create a system or an equipment to solve that issue? And so we use smartphones. So a tiny lens that you can hold with your hand. We just fix it up with a 3D printed equipment um, that you can just mount it on, put it on your smartphone, create an app, and that solves the problem. You can have a look at the back of the eye, document it, photograph it. If you're not sure what's going on, you can send it across to someone else. So um, essentially, that started off with just one tiny piece of equipment to solve the problem, which we have got a tick on it. And uh, subsequently, we've created a whole ecosystem around it. You know, can we use additional stuff to solve other issues? You know, looking at the front of the eye, looking at the back of the eye apps incorporated with artificial intelligence to help diagnosis you know even if you're a GP if you're not trained to look at the back of the eye now that you've got the equipment to look at the back of the eye but you're not sure what's going on well the next step is to introduce the artificial, artificial intelligence AIs to help with, with the, um, the diagnosis can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know other than yourself I think the most ambitious person is my dad Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we're brought up in a very, well, his family was extremely poor, so he's sort of like a refugee, but we're born, well, I was born in Borneo, and uh, 
originally a family, sort of, I think it's eight or ninth generation, were from Southeast China. And uh, so they moved across the Southeast Ocean to Borneo in the hope of, you know, establishing a new start. But um, to be honest, they were living in poverty, extreme poverty in the sense that you've got no proper toilets. You know, you do all the stuff, everything sort of next to the river. And uh, so he grew up in that situation. And I think looking at how, you know, he's always telling us the stories of how he looked at how his grandparents and his parents suffered throughout their life. And he wanted to make a change. And so in order for us as, you know, children to have a much better life, which I think he did it very successfully, otherwise I wouldn't be here physically in this part of the world. And to be able to be the first doctor in the whole family, in the whole generations, the last eight generations. So I would say, you know, my dad's the most ambitious person I know of. Yeah. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Is there anything? Yeah. I think it, um, it's um, challenges, you know, the more challenging or the more problems that you throw at me, I think that, that would, you know, that would be probably the biggest motivator in making me more ambitious.